This is Rachel Rose with your News in 90. The Jacksonville Sheriff's Office is asking anyone with information on the latest drive-by shooting to come forward. Police arrived on the scene at 1235 Sunday afternoon after six people were shot. It happened about a half mile from the TIAA bank field where the Jaguars were hosting the Texans at one. All six victims were rushed to hospitals and according to the Sheriff's Office, three are in critical condition. The five men and one woman range in age from 20s to 70s. Investigators say they believe the vehicle used is a silver or gray four-door sedan. For most Floridians, it is still business as usual when it comes to early voting. But for eight counties still recovering from Hurricane Michael, finding a polling place that wasn't destroyed may be difficult. Today is the first day for early voting in Florida, but Rick Scott announced Thursday those counties will have more flexibility as to when early voting can start and end. The state will also work with those displaced by the storm who send mail-in ballots. Normal early voting ends the weekend before the election. Affected counties are authorized to extend that to election day. The migrant caravan heading to the U.S. from Central America is walking through Mexico. The caravan crossed the border from Guatemala yesterday. Mexican officials say it has grown to over 7,000. Those officials urged the people of the caravan to apply for asylum visas, but many don't have documentation to apply. Organizers of the caravan will hold a press conference in Mexico today. Trump tweeted that the U.S. will cut off aid given to Honduras, El Salvador, and Guatemala because they could not stop the caravan from heading to the U.S. That's your News in 90, but your Florida news is always on at WUFT.org.